In our last episode, we learned what email hijacking is and how it's typically done. As a brief refresher, an email hijacking occurs when someone gains access to your email account and uses it for sinister reasons. Email accounts are usually hijacked through three ways. Phishing, security question verification, and less frequently, keystroke loggers. Today we're going to talk about ways of determining if your email account has been hijacked. There are many things someone can do after hijacking your email account. The most common uses include sending emails to your contacts and scanning your email inbox to find valuable information like your credit card or banking PIN. In some cases, the hijacker may not do anything at all. If your email account has been hijacked, here are some of the most obvious ways to tell. Number one, your contacts receive a strange email from you even though you didn't send it. These emails may contain viruses or fraudulent links. You will likely receive replies from some of these recipients asking if you've been hacked. Number two, there are draft and sent messages in your email account folders that you never wrote or sent. Number three, some or even all of your contacts have been deleted from your address book. Number four, new contacts that you don't recognize have been added to your address book. Five, your email signature may contain a strange link that you don't recognize. Number six, you can no longer even sign into your account as the password has been changed. If any of these have happened to you, there's a good chance your email account has been hijacked. Please note that not all of these signs have to be present to indicate your email has been hacked by someone else. It's also important to remember that your account may be infiltrated without showing any abnormal signs, but the six signs listed here are the most common ways to tell if someone else has gained unauthorized access to your email. Now that we know how hijackers gain access to your account and the most common ways to tell if they have, we can look to preventing and solving the issue. We'll do that next time on Security Matters.